I woke up this morning with eczema spread out all over my shoulder and all over my chest. I had fat all over my body. My whole face, bone structure changed again, the same problems, the same stubborn pursuers. I woke up this morning without a job and no way to pay my bills. But I also woke up with both my children here, Cherish and Desmond Ross, our home. And for the first time, our family are all together. And so this isn't about complaining. This is about appreciating the simplest things. Even when everything seems to be going wrong in our lives, even when we have all these problems, all these troubles, things are just chaotic, things are not the way we want them to be. There is at least one thing you can be appreciative of. There are a multitude of things that we can all say that we're grateful for and thankful for. And that's what this is about. Thanking God for the simplest things growing up, waking up and appreciating him, appreciating the fact that you have life, you have breath, and that you're still breathing, that you still have an opportunity to get it right. I mean, it's not about what we don't have. It's not about the things that are going wrong in our lives and the things that bring us disappointment and, and stress and grief. When we tend to focus on the things that bring us you know, distress, that makes us unhappy. It makes life seem not worth living. It makes you feel hopeless. And as human beings, we're often conditioned to, to, to gravitate towards the things that are wrong. We wanna complain about the things that are wrong. We wanna focus on the things that are wrong in our lives and the things that aren't right. But we need to condition ourselves to start looking at the things that are going right because there are many of things that we can appreciate. Things might not be the way you want them to be right now, but there is something that you have to be grateful for. There is something that you have to be thankful for. There are other people that probably have problems that you couldn't bear or go through right now. There's things that God has gotten you through that you wouldn't believe that you'd be able to to, to uh, get through those things. You can you you can look if you look back and say, "Hey, I can't believe God brought me through all of this." There's probably been a time in your life where you never thought you'd be at the place where you're at right now, and so that's what this message is about. That we all need to start looking to the places where we've gone, the places where God has gotten us, the things that we have been able to endure or overcome through the help of God, the things that we do have, the things that he has given us. We might not have certain things, certain things might be going wrong, but there's something that we have to be thankful for. There's something that we can say that we are blessed.